Hey y'all, it's Kristen. We are going to do some short tutorials on different things. This was Linda's idea. Hi, Linda. She and I were talking about my channel and she said, she's a crafter and she said what she would really like are little tutorials on one thing. For instance, this is gonna be the golden book covers and just to put them all in a playlist so she can go back and reference them when she's doing stuff. And I thought that, that was a great idea. She also came up with the name which I think is really cute and hilarious at the same time. So I'm not saying that nobody's ever done just a golden book cover tutorial. That's not it. I'm just saying that for my channel, I thought it would be cool just to do little tutorials, put them all in a playlist for people who just want to watch that one thing. Okay? All right, so we're going to do the cover. Um, I picked this one. I'm going to have to get some something and get that... Uh, tag off. So what I do, these uh, golden book covers have staples, but I just pull them apart and just try to do it carefully, kind of. Like that. You try not to tear it to where it's going to go in. And before I do that, I'm going to take this. You can also do it with scissors if you want to. Just cut that part off. And see, this will have to be glued back down, but it's no problem. We can totally do that. Then for the pages, and the next tutorial, the next short tutorial will be uh, cutting down the pages and putting them in the book. I had someone ask about that, and I know I showed that in another one of the longer videos, but we're, I'll just do one a video just for that. Hope I'm making sense. I don't feel like I am. Okay, and these are a real pain to get out, let me tell you. See, there's a staple right there. Just get my staple remover. And try not to break a nail while I'm doing it. There we go. Okay. And then your pages should come right out. Wow. This book's pretty old, I think so. Okay. Like I said, we'll do the pages later. Right now, we're just going to concentrate on the cover. While I have the wipes out, I like to wipe the covers down. You don't want to wipe them like too much or too hard because I have actually wiped off the color. Is that sticker or is the book coming up? That's her face coming up. Mm -hmm. That sucks a lot. Well, that is not going to work. Hang on just a second. Okay, let me see something. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is cut your spine to whatever width you want. Usually I do about two and a quarter to two and a half. I think for this one I'll do two and a half. So just a second, let me get the chipboard. I use this chipboard right here. It's natural, uh, natural medium weight 25 sheets 12 by 12 and that's all i know i get this on amazon so i'll link it down in the description box but it's a it's about the same uh thickness as these books right here so that's good okay so now we're going to cut this with my stupid cutter that doesn't cut straight 
we're going to first measure this cover. And it is seven and I guess that's seven eighths. I don't know. It's one notch down from eight. I don't do rulers very well. So we are going to cut this down. Right there. All right. So that's the height we want, and then we want, I said two and a half. And then always check it to make sure that it's good. And it is. Next thing, I cut a piece of muslin. Uh, the width of the spine plus just a little bit, like maybe as much as that border is right there. Just enough for it to tack on to the uh, front and back covers. You know, the whole shorts thing is kind of tongue-in-cheek because I have no idea how long this is going to actually take me to uh, do or how long this video will be. So you may be laughing at short. Yeah, right. Okay. So that is not wide enough. So let's pick another piece. Okay, you want your front and back covers not to be, like, butted up against the, the spine. You want it to be just a hair away so that when you go to open and close it, it will cl open and close um, easily. So just a hair right there. Am I in frame? Yep. Okay. Cut straight and then tear. You want it long enough to wrap. Some I have done it before where I don't wrap. I just put you know, put the muslin and the fabric on the front, flip it over, and put it on the back. I don't, I've, actually, the first baby book I did, I didn't wrap it. But for this one, I think we will. So, I need twice, not quite twice as much as that. So, we'll cut it about right there. We can always cut off more. If we need to after we wrap it you actually want to start on the other side because when you wrap you want to end on the other side as well and if you start on this side you'll end on this side and it looks kind of weird so we're gonna flip it over and hope for the best okay give me an idea of where the glue is gonna go Oh my lord, seriously? Alright, flip and glue. Yeah, you're going to be able to see the glue through the muslin, but that's okay because we're going to put uh, fabric over it. It's fine. If I'm hitting my head, I'm sorry. This is a lovely hot mess of a video. You don't really have to go up that far. I just am. You can just overlap it a little bit. Oh, 
a little doohickey fell off my glue. Now we are going to put the fabric on. Again, you're going to cut your fabric. I always do it just a little bit smaller than the muslin. So I just bring it over just a tad to where you can barely see it peeking out right there. And we will cut. there. Let me make sure. Yeah. All right, again, we're going to turn it over and start on the inside. Let me do something right quick. I forgot to do this part. You just have to kind of work it to get it to, to get the wrinkles out of it. And you can let the first layer dry. But for this tutorial, we are not. Okay, I know I'm not talking, but I had to concentrate. I'm sorry. This is stressful to me. <laughs> Some people make this look so easy to me, not so much. I mean, it's not terrible, but this, it stresses me out just a little. I'm not going to lie. All right, yay, okay. There we go, and the same thing that we did before, you just wanna kinda work it, get the wrinkles out, except don't pull it over like I just did. Keep it straight, I feel like. This is hell on the manicure, I know that. This glue, it's got acetone in it. It's not so great. That's all right. I could probably use something else besides my fingernails to do this, but ain't nobody got time for that. Okay, what I do to let these dry is literally set them up after I get all the wrinkles out. I just set them up uh, just a minute. And it doesn't matter if it's got a few wrinkles in the creases or whatever, because you're, I mean, I always put uh, lace over it to cover everything up so it looks finished. So you see, once everything dries, it'll be fine. And then we'll put lace there and then on the edge of that too to cover things up. Okay, and like I said, I just leave it just like this. 
and let it dry as soon as I quit fiddling with it. Okay? Okay, I hope that was helpful. That kind of felt like a hot mess. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, if you have any requests for me to do little short tutorials on whatever, let me know. Just comment down below. Thank you so much for watching.